Hey everyone, this is a very basic strategy for Mahjong that you can use to get by, for example, to try and complete your Yakuza 0 completion list when it comes to Mahjong. Mahjong is a com complex game with a lot of rules, but there is a simple system that you can follow to basically be able to always win a hand without having to know any of the combinations. Now, a completed Mahjong hand is 14 tiles long and consists of four sequences of three of a kind and one pair. There are three suits in Mahjong. You have the bamboos, you have the characters, make sure you have a reference with you if you can't count one to nine in Japanese, you have the dots, and then you have the honor tiles. These are winds, dragons, etc. So as you can see, this is a completed Mahjong hand. It has four sequences and a pair. Now sequences can either be runs, one, two, three, or five, six, seven, or three of a kind, like these three one dots, or these three east winds. And then your pair can be anything. Now this is a complete Mahjong hand here. But the Mahjong hand that you're dealt at the beginning of every game is not complete. So it is your goal to transform the hand from not complete to complete. So as we look, we have one sequence, 7, 8, 9. We have a couple potential pairs. And then we have some extra tiles. So we take our first draw. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate tiles that are not connected to other tiles in our hand. So example, this tile. Now, when you're playing like this, you cannot call pawn or chi or anything. You're only concerned about your own hand. You're not really looking at anyone. You're just looking at your own tiles and your own draws. Sometimes you'll find tiles that connect to your hand very easily. And then sometimes you'll find tiles that don't really connect to your hand at the time. You make sure to discard those when you draw them. As the game continues, you continue to take tiles that aren't connected to your hand and your goal of making four sequences and one pair and continue to progress to make your hand a valid Mahjong hand. So as you can see, we're starting to get kind of close. With this discard here, we have two runs, 2, 3, 4, and 7, 8, 9. We have another run here, 2, 3, 4, and then we have a potential pair here or here. As, dis as your discards and draws continue to happen, you might find that you continue to dis draw things that aren't connected to your hand. But as soon as you draw something that makes it so that your hand is one tile away from winning, you can reach. It doesn't matter what your hand is compromised of, or com composed of, rather, excuse me, as long as you have the sequences ready to go. As you can see, I have three sequences here, and a pair, and I'm just looking to com complete my last sequence. So you reach, which is betting, a thousand points that you're not changing your hand and that you will win the next hand and you cannot change your hand any farther so when you draw if it is not your winning tile you must discard it now this the way that this works you see even this would make a three of a kind but I've reached I can't change my hand and with this method it doesn't matter if you can't remember what's in your hand or what's not in your hand or what scores or anything as long as you make four sequences in a pair you can win on a reach i hope this uh this video it's very basic and of course there are exceptions to these very basic concepts but more or less if you stick to this method you will be able to complete hands in mahjong uh i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it was helpful